All right, boys, today we got some good news and some bad news, some stuff we need to go over, some stuff we need to talk about, so I hope you guys are ready for it. Yes, it is regarding World Heroes Mission, which a lot of you are hyped about, and I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Remember, this is all beforehand, right? We, we don't have the event. The devs can make this amazing. The devs can make this even worse than I go and say. They could do it either way, but today we got to talk about what we know and the things and the, uh, the situations that have been built because of it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and like. It does help on a ton. If you are hyped, 500 like gold. We haven't set one in a while. Let's see if we can crack it. But yes, with that being the uh, the intro, let's talk about it real quick. So yes, if you haven't already seen my last video, um, if you haven't already logged in and checked it out, we do have a tennis rewards. If you don't already know, because a lot of people said, dude, how did you get that? Uh, the rest of it, you got a slide. Yeah, it's uh, um, there's no like second page thing. You just have a slide to the right and you get it. But yes. With this entire thing, we have a new long event, 14 days. All together, it's about, what, 900 um, hero coins, uh, 12 premium tickets, 6 R&D regular, 6 um, premium, which overall, it's not that bad, right? It's a pretty good login. I did say that. It's overall the better one. First, if you want the good news, we'll start with that because, hey, good news is the best news. First, yes, we have a login event, which is good news. Will it be a trick or a treat? There's a high chance you will have a Halloween event um, for this month, which is very nice to see. The hint probably is leading towards a Halloween event, and where does it lead? It also leads towards World's Hero Mission, World Heroes Mission, I just, Worlds, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, but that's what it leads to. Now, that was the first good news, don't worry, there's more. Yes, um, you can consider this good news or bad news, but for everyone wanting content, there is a high chance this is going to be the one-week banner until the 20th, the 19th, around those two days. Because um, the tweet says 19th, this says 20th, whichever way it ends up, that's what it is. But um, on the following day, the content update, you will get World Heroes Mission, and that will be your update. So seven days away, we will in fact get it. Remember, they literally said the end of October. The only content update they, they can follow through with is around there um, because they have to put a banner in. They, they can't just sit there with no banner. So there's a high chance that they start to hype up a week and two days prior um, to the movie releasing, which would make more sense. And that is probably the better idea. So again, high chance, yes, next week is your content update. And we go and receive that given this week was another dead week. Uh, we received this banner that only lasts seven days. And they're really, if they do a two-week banner, they can't. It doesn't work. And they won't sit there with no banner occurring because an active card doesn't count. So yes, high chance, next week, be ready for it. The one, the only World Heroes mission will release. But yes, following the next part of good news that I wanted to talk about, because of these new tickets that we just went and received, these are the World Hero Mission tickets, okay? Given the first thing we have here, sign with uh, World Hero Mission heroes and contribute to the World Heroes mission. Over here with this ticket, new stealth suits and new X, um, EX support cards will make a perfect match. That is it. So again, this confirms the banner system or the banner thing. Again, it's a separate banner because the premium tickets and that are separated, which is good and bad. Good because there is a chance to lower pity. Bad because you may have already invested your hero coins into premium tickets. Because again, other games have that similar mentality. If you play Genshin, most people transfer their premium gems right away um, into the currency, similar to hero coins, into the currency um, to go and summon. So... I'm hoping that they go and give you a way to transfer your premium tickets into the regular currency um, for summoning. Well, that'll be like the best way. So, I mean, that's bad news if you want to think of it that way. But first, let me talk about this, okay? So again, there's a high chance of lower pity. High chance that happens. Who knows? But yes, to confirm everything, this banner will have the three characters being Deku, um, Bakugo, and Todoroki. They'll be on here, okay? It literally says heroes, world heroes mission heroes, plural. There's multiple heroes on the banner. And now, with that being said, there's a high chance, a very high chance, this banner will include them as either S characters, A characters, something like that. That's what I'm going to go with, just because I also kind of think there's a high chance we also receive a battle pass, like a collaboration battle pass, um, where they put one of the characters there and make them A, and they win. And again, also thinking about it, if you want to like consider this, because there's three characters, right? You have two EX cards per character. That is six EX cards you got to pull for on that banner. Jeez, dude, you're going to be crying for decades. Um, and again, the banner has multiple characters. Currently in this game's history, we have not seen a banner have more than, or a premium banner, um, with more than uh, one premium character at S, right? Currently, the only thing we have is the main banner, which gives you the um, the regular characters, right? Class 1A, um, at that boosted, uh, not boosted, but altogether, right? So this is there. Uh, we have the appearance rate of four characters at a 1.2%. And now again, if they do a banner with three characters at a 1.2%, um, and it's 100 pity, that's a very, very scary thing. 
I do believe the devs have a way or have something in mind to not make it terrible. Remember, yes, the game has had like a rough start and everyone's expectations are super, super low with this. So I'm hoping that they can at least deliver because this is the time to save the game. Okay, you went through a month of reruns. I mentioned this in my last video. This is the time to make it right. And again, it's probably going to be three characters either on an S rating, or maybe an A rating. They're like the supporting characters. Currently, again, we have no confirmed answer of what's going to happen. But I'm thinking either S or A, probably A or, or probably S, I rather, yeah, for, yeah, S, you know what I mean. Um, but it's probably where it's going to stand. With that being said, you have this banner right here. Similarly, it'll be over here in the limited tab, right? It's going to be that thing. It'll use that new currency that we've just seen. And there you go. That's your banner. Now, moving on to the most important part of this video, because if you don't listen to this, I will slap you. Listen, you have to understand one more thing. For everyone that's like commented on my last video, now I can summon our Aizawa, everything will be fine, my pity doesn't matter, nothing matters, I'm gonna go all in, listen, okay, calm down, okay, just chill with summoning. The problem with that is we don't have a confirmed answer. Currently, it's been thrown around that, yes, it's a new banner confirmed, pity does not transfer over, nothing transfers over, it's its, its own entity, right? That's what's currently being thrown around. Just remember, there is a high chance it is the same pity, right? Like currently, if my pity's at 100, and not 199 if it's at that and uh well you know the entire world zero mission thing drops there is a chance that the pity will be on that banner as well it could happen right now i can't confirm much or not even that screw the world hero mission banner there is a high chance that again remember that text that we did have this one on screen where there are going to be three more playable characters they might be premium characters the other ones are like free summon tickets we're going to be getting because I did mention free tickets, okay? We already have seen a first look at free tickets already, um, three of them being from this event, and then there could be probably more scattered around. It literally said various rewards through missions in-game, so you will be getting more tickets via that, and that could be a free ticket banner system for three unique characters, three new characters. Sure, you can spend a little bit more to get more of the copies and stuff like that, but that could be that. And then you have these three characters that will re like actually require your hero queens, and that could be the case. So if you are going to go and burn your pity, just remember there's a chance either the, you know, the regular units are on there, or you have these new characters jumping on as premium banners. But again, I wanted to show you guys this image over here. This is floating around red, I believe. Um, somebody posted this, and again, great job on everything. I'll leave the link down below to everything. This is not my image, I wanna make that clear. Um, the person on Reddit, you guys can go and show them some love for it. Oh my God, image is insane. So again, these are the characters. So again, well done to like the Photoshop and effort put into this. It is not real, okay, calm down. Um, it is again, fan-made, just wanna make sure that's clear one more time. But this is what it looks like, right? We have three playable characters being the villains that were mentioned, which again, they're not confirmed to be characters. We also have the three that are already confirmed to be characters, being Bakugo, Todoroki, and Deku. If you take a look at it, that is a very cool art. And this could be how your update does turn out to be. So just remember, whenever you're planning, do not jump the gun. Wait until the update drops, then we talk about it. But right now, I wanna make sure you know everything. Banner system could be different. Probably it is going to be a brand new banner. There could be a lot of things that go about doing it. Right now though, I can confirm tickets are new. You are getting free tickets. There are going to be three characters. There's going to be six um, EX cards on one banner, that being the World Hero Mission banner. Uh, we also can confirm that, yes, Aizawa ends seven days, which makes sense to them give more time for World Hero Mission um, before it releases, hype it up into the movie, so that you have time to, you know, check it out, you love it in the game, you're like, screw it, I'm gonna go buy a ticket in the movie. It all adds up, it all makes sense, so please, Keep it safe because again, they are giving you what both regular summon tickets, right? For the first seven days, because again, they go right here, uh, day 10, 11, um, 13, and 14 are the most important days of your tickets. Just remember, do not waste your pity just because of that. If you want Aizawa and you're okay um, with using your pity for it, do it. Have fun. Best of luck with your summons. Hope you can pull them. Have fun in PvP. All of that. But I do recommend, do not just um, say, screw it, I'm done, I'm moving on, I'm just gonna go and summon burn everything because, you know, screw the devs. So please do not jump the gun and just like destroy everything um, by doing it. It's, it's not, it is not a smart idea. But yes, and do remember, they still haven't added the ability to purchase this, so maybe they are really free tickets and you're everything, like everything is good to go, you're fine, you're, everything's gonna be okay. Could be the case. I'm just going to put that out there. It could be the case. So yes, that's really what I wanted to go over in this video. Hopefully you guys were able to enjoy it. That's really been it for me. Thank you again for watching. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.